Hello and welcome to the custom build guide for a Lego Mario POW block. Uh, now this is being done in an art style that it's it's flat, it's not a three-dimensional POW block. Um, but what I'm going to do here is guide you through uh, how I've laid out these tiles so that way you could recreate this at home. I'm going to kind of use, um, give you some guidance as far as how far up and where to start the different colors and types of tiles. Um, now you can see here for these flat tiles, um, you don't need to have a specific um, 1 by 2 or 2 by 3, 2 by 2. Use what you've got. Um, so you can see I just used a variety of different, uh, there, there's not a clear... Um, pattern of using a certain kind of flat tile. It's just uh, I advise you to use what you have. Um, if, if I was so specific to say you got to use two by twos, then it's going to be more difficult to, to actually put it together because um, you got to have all those specific tiles. Um, so here we're going to start in the, the bottom corner here. Um, for these light blue, um, I go eight studs up. I should back up for a moment here. This is a 32 stud by 32 stud plate. So going up by 8 and then over 2, you're going to have the light blue here. And then of course you're going to have the light blue along the bottom. It's going to go 2 studs up. And then you're going to go um, from the 8th stud down, you're going to fill this empty space here with the darker blue. And then you can see that I've just repeated what's on the bottom, just flip it and do it on the top as well. So start with the, the top blue and the bottom blue, and then you're just going to have this center spot to fill in. So you can see I allowed one stud of gray on the top and bottom, and I'm also doing one stud in between each of the letters here. Um, so as far as the width here on the first part of the P, this is going to be five studs wide. And then here, this gray area, this is three studs wide in here. And then the second part of the P, you can see that's going to be another three studs wide. And uh, here I use some of those curved one by ones to, to give some some curvature to parts of the letters here. I, I've done it at three spots on the P, did it on all the corners of the O, and I didn't use any on, on the W here. So getting over to the, to the O, this is going to be four studs thick this way, and then here you've got two worth of the gray, and then another three white here. And then over to the W, you can see two and then two in between, another two, two in between, and then two again. And then from top to the bottom here, this looks like this is going to be five studs wide here. And certainly um, you can use different colors depending on what you got in your collection. Uh, you, you may not have all these pieces to be able to make the POW block just like this. You could use a, you know, a darker blue, different shade of blue, or you could go completely different colors if you wanted. Um, or uh, another option is you could leave some of them without flat tiles if you wanted. If you were to use, say, a, you know, a dark gray base plate, then you could just leave all the dark gray and you don't need to put a tile on it. Um, so you got different options to make it work for you, depending on what your, how extensive your Lego collection is and what you've got on hand. Thank you for watching.